same mistakes Knowing where this road will lead But I can't change Why would you want to love me? Why would you even care? In my wake, mark this forbidden. I am my own saboteur. Why would you want to love me? Why would you even care when I rip myself apart from within? I cannot be forgiven for all that I have left behind. In my way, Marcus will be <laughs> Sometimes wish there's more people in here to clap other than me. <laughs> I might have to start doing one of them like little um, effects thingies, you know what I mean? Just yeah, but like a... the really <sighs> bad ones so you can <laughs> tell it's like computer. Yeah. You know, maybe on like uh, the old Casio keyboards. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately we don't have the uh, the big screen like the BBC do, you know what I mean? And inviting the audiences down, things like that. But you yeah. know. Once more, Steph for man and all that. <laughs> yeah, and the dog, you know, <laughs> he's not dog. barking now, so... No, no, maybe he's listening. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Everyone fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with the first one, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, mate, and your, what's going to be your final choice of tune for this evening? Uh, I was going to do another new one, so, you know... Excellent. People get to hear some new stuff, and obviously the tracks from the album as well. Yeah, of course. Um, so this last one is called Stand Together, and it's... It's, it's, it's kind of been around for, I don't know, maybe a year now, but it just still feels really new and uh, it just seems to go down really well at gigs. And What do you write your songs like that, about? That's so. one I didn't ask you before. What's your, what's your format when you write songs? Well, how I write them? Or yeah, it's what you write about. Is it stuff that's personal to you? <coughs> is, it, is it fictional? Uh, a lot of it's personal um, or just something that it's... Uh, uh, <laughs> I always feel like it's got to have something personal in it. So yeah. even if the story's not exactly accurate about me, there's some part of every song that's got, you know, something of me in it, something yeah. that I believe. That's or, similar to my format. So it, it could be about you, but you just turn it around and make sure it's not about you, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't want, like, to put all your personal details <laughs> That's out, what out I mean, there, yeah, yeah. I your phone number at the end. <laughs> I, if, if I'm writing, because there's a lot of songs that I write that, you know, don't see the light of day, because I'm like, well, if I get bored while I'm playing it, people are going to get bored while they're listening to it. Of I've, course, yeah. I've got to feel something when I'm playing it. Um, and when I'm listening to it, because I listen back as if I'm a listener and sort of see if I like it or not. And, yeah, it's important you know. to do that, isn't it? People get a bad name for that sometimes, don't they? Oh, you listen to your own music, but you've you have got to, to. You've got to. I listen to, I listen to my show. What I do is, you know, it go, it'll go out today and it work tomorrow. I'll put it on and I'll be listening to it and I'll go, 
Why did he say that? You're balanced. You yeah, don't think like that. See what you could have done better. See you get could have done better, yeah. What? Which bits were good? All at at first, stuff. and I'll probably still be like that tonight. It's like, why? why? Stop saying M. <laughs> M. <laughs> don't say M. You know, that's one of the biggest problem presenters have, you know. The yeah. word M. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a scouse thing, isn't it? I think, it's, I think it's throw, to be honest with you. <laughs> you throw a microphone at somebody, Mason, and it's just M, you yeah, know? Uh, uh. It's, like, it's like a brain natural default, isn't it? It's like... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I see, I've just done it <laughs> then. See what I mean? Um, Without even realising it. But I, I just write about stuff that interests me, you know, something that might get me fired up or... Are you uh, politically motivated in old school, but you do like your politics a little bit, don't you, I think? I've, I've started getting a bit more into politics because I just feel like at the moment it's just everything that's happening, it, how can you ignore it? And do you know what, I put the shutters down, I'm just like, that fucking crack on with it. <laughs> I think I said something the other day on Facebook and I got I got attacked for it because I, I voted out myself. Like For yeah. my own reasons though, I do study these things, I'm not just a, a, an idiot and I'm certainly not a racist. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, I put up that. Oh, Jesus, the backlash I got. <laughs> like yeah. that, whoa. I mean, stop talking. The, 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 like, you know, people, there's some people I know who voted out, and that's fine. Like, I I voted in, but uh, the people I know who voted out, they voted out for a particular reason that yeah. they, you know, used their head and kind of thought about it and thought, well, this is the best option. There's a lot. There's a, there's but, a lot of valid points to, to leave, and there's a hell of a lot of valid points to remain. To, for me, politically, it was one of the hardest decisions I've ever made, you know what I mean? But I do yeah. strongly believe that we've still made the right decision, but a lot of people disagree with me with that, but I unfortunately it's one of the things only time's going to tell on this one, isn't it? Yeah, I, th- I think, you know, a, a lot of the issues are with, like, the people who are angry at the people who voted out is more the people who voted out for, like, d- sort of going... To the wrong oh, reasons. Oh, well, we'll get all the immigrants out the country. Yeah, it's yeah. like, well... No. <laughs> that you was know. never going to happen. I, I knew from day one <laughs> that that was never ever going to. You can't just start kicking people out of the country. That's insane. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can you can close your but you can't even close your borders though because we still need people in this country. Yeah. We, you know, there's a lot of people that do come over to this country who are supposed to be here validly, you know, to doing professional jobs and things like that. We actually need them throughout the course of history. Listen to me, I'm going on here, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> throughout so the course, the political show. <laughs> yeah, but the, throughout the course of history though, we relied on. Um, foreign immigrants to do jobs for us. Yeah, of that's, course we have. That's, that's made us the country we are today, you know what I mean? Anyway, and place, place know, a the, song. The, <laughs> the whole point of this country is to be a d- diverse society, of you course, know, especially yeah. Liverpool. and Big time, know, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think one of the themes that I always come back to when I'm writing is the sort of lost connection between people. Like, people just seem to be getting Big further time. and further away from yeah. each other with social media in one way brings people together but also separates them yeah, yeah and yeah. it's like I always crave for that kind of way of living where people are actually in each other's lives and yeah. you know stand it's, together which is the name of the song you know <laughs> link, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. link plug plug yeah. but I, I think you're right I think a lot of it's um, there's also there's that many different news feeds isn't there that it's hard yeah. it's hard to really figure out who's telling the truth and who's not telling the truth and things like that Exactly. Anyway, I've still got a bit of a show to do here, so we better yeah, get yeah. on. No. Oh, we're on the radio, are we? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Just having Sorry. a chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Go ahead. Fire so away. This one's called Stand Together. Sometimes it's hard just to get out of bed To stand to face the world with all those problems we wish we could shed Oh, feeling exposed I got nowhere to hide Looks like the time has come for us To do what it It 
Accepting the truth will be like a shot to the head. Now it's revealed, I hope. There's no turning back. The mask is slipped. Oh, Are we gonna stand and fight or lay down? Just lay down in the dirt. Do we have the courage to find a way through? Let go of this guilt we carry and start anew. Oh, feeling exposed. I got nowhere left to hide. Now's the time to stand together and fight until we fight until we fight until we rise. together let's stand together oh let's stand together let's stand together you and I let's stand together let's stand together oh let's stand together let's stand together you and I 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 let's stand together Ding dong, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing with the reverb while I've been playing. It sounds really sweet. I've just been like, Wah, making it all long and all pretty and nice here. Yeah? Love it, man. Love it. Really good. Thanks for coming in. Oh, thanks for having us. Absolutely it's been really superb. nice and chilled out. And, yeah, you know. very powerful stuff going on, mate. And the, the two songs that you played tonight that are new, I think they're, they're very, very strong tracks. Then I think you should be quite oh. proud of them. Like, oh, cheers. They usually stand up to anything that you've done on the, on the last album. Yeah. So that's got to be good, isn't it? <laughs> that, that was a yeah, you always try and write better than what you've well, done. Yeah, you know, you, that's so. what I'm saying. You always do, don't you? But I, yeah. Yeah, I think the really, really good tunes. I loved that last one. That was that was really nice. What was that one called again? Stand Together. Stand Together, I, yeah. Because I, when I wrote that, I thought, I want to write a song where it's just got like one chord sequence all the way through. Because I, I always try and do, you know, weird chords or whatever. Mm. Um so I thought I just want something dead simple. It's like almost like a, just a straightforward rock and roll track or whatever. And um, with the band, it's definitely like that. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort it's of when it kicks into the loud sections and stuff. You yeah, know? because it's got a good chorus, doesn't it? As well, you know, it's got something obvious that you can yeah. just go, throw your weight behind and go bang. That's, that's yeah, it, you know what I mean. Yeah, I love it, mate. I love it. Uh, one last question for you for any of our listeners who've enjoyed your set tonight. Where can they go and um, check you out further? Uh, you can go on kevincritchley.com and it's got all the Facebook links, SoundCloud, Twitter, iTunes. You can go on iTunes and uh, check out the album on there. Excellent. Mate, thank you very much for coming in. Cheers, right, mate. Right, I will have to push you on because we do have a few more tunes to play tonight and time is of the essence. <laughs> I'm going to give you the tune next, guys, by the Lightning Seas. This is Sugar Coated Iceberg. I'll be back with you very shortly. I'm just going to say goodbye to Kevin now.